some of the new features for the Pixel 4 today? What are the biggest takeaways? Yeah, there's tons of technology in Pixel 4. It's got a new radar chip uh, that we call Motion Sense that lets you see gestures and things like that. It also has face unlock, so it will really quickly unlock the phone. Um, and the, they work together too, so it goes even faster. And then of course the new camera system's fantastic. So it's for people that are looking for the very latest that are uh, Google fans, they, they want the best of Google and what we have to offer. So the back of the device looks a little similar to the iPhone, um, but it's $100 more than the cost of the base model. How does the company plan to stand out in the marketplace and how do you justify the cost? Well, uh, first off, we think it compares favorably to the two higher end iPhones, which are more expensive. Um, and we also have a Pixel 3a product, which is great for people who are looking for a very powerful smartphone on a budget. It's got all the great camera work and it also has uh, access to the Google Assistant. So the combination of the two gives people a great option if they're trying to buy a smartphone on a budget looking for a great phone and then uh, the newest technology is coming out in our pixel 4 product which is like the best of the flagships available for someone who's really interested in the android ecosystem sources say that pixel takes up about one to two percent of the global smartphone market uh, today the company announced that um, it's going to be coming to more carriers are you hoping that that will sort of increase say or encourage an uptick in growth and users yeah, I mean, we're, we're ex very excited to launch with new carrier partners. Clearly, there's people who really want to buy from their carrier. You know, we're new to the hardware business, so we want to stay focused in the geographies we supported. We want to make sure we're getting the user experience really right before we expand. So why does Google want to keep making hardware? Obviously, your history is in software and services. Why keep pushing hardware? Yeah, well, I mean, we felt like the best way to innovate for our users, for people that really wanted the latest Google technology, was to start building end-to-end -end experiences. Right now, the computing industry is in a place where Moore's Law is slowing down, and so it's, it's a place where you have to design full systems if you want to be on that cutting edge. So we're developing systems for the people that want the best of Google and our latest innovation, and uh, that's why we're in the end-to-end -end products game now.